everybody welcome back and today I'm gonna do a art journal page just one page not a whole spread so I'm figure I'd pull out a few things and just see where it takes me so I did pull out some gesso and some matte gel medium so first we're gonna gesso the page and that just gives it that whoops I do believe that was too much um, Gives the paper the ability to hold just about anything, ink, paint, whatever. And I did put some wax paper behind our page so it doesn't get on everything. I'm just going to brayer it out. over here and we're going to go ahead and dry it so I'll be right back after I dry this okay well this is all dry now so now I'm going to let's see I think I wanted to start out with this piece of material it's kind of thickish like a real heavy cotton I love the colors on it. It's going to be on a um, a journal cover that I'm making. So I'm just going to leave this wording on there, I think. I think it looks kind of cool. And then we can start. Or do I want to layer other things under it? Let's layer a few things under it first. I'm going to take a piece of book page. Yeah, let's see. Let's, um, oh, goodness. Some of that on top, just a, and maybe put this in the bottom. Just tear off the other corner and put that there. Maybe I love just playing with my art journal. It kind of gets me inspired to do other things which is always a good thing because I have a tendency to get art block really bad so it takes <laughs> it takes some doing to get me out of the slump. So, and then we can take Yeah. All right. But if, again, before that, I want to put some other stuff down. Um, yeah. I've been watching a lot of uh, Froyle, oh, what's her last name? Davis? I think she she lives in um, New Zealand and she does a lot of collage art and oh, makes a lot of her own papers and things like that. And they're just gorgeous. 
and she's she's very uplifting and she's just very she's funny you know and I think people who are I mean to me anyway are when they're funny it just seems like they're more interesting and more fun to watch you know especially if they're real they're not putting on a show like some people do Okay, I know you can't barely see that, but here in a second you will. Because I'm gonna take some sprays and whip it wet. Oh, come on, come out. Like that. I'll leave that yellow. That looks cool. And let's add some green because we've got green in that. Um... Ah, come on, green, please work. Okay, we'll shake it up good. And we'll just open it up and splatter it. It's not very dark. It's actually pretty light. Oops. This isn't too bad. I kind of like just the little spots. Cool. Close that back up. And let's see. Let's... Where did my... Okay, yeah. It needs its cap back on even though it's clogged. I gotta remember to fix those bottles. Okay, now why this is, I'm going to dry it off again. Be right back. Okay, it's not completely dry, but it's okay because you're not going to see a lot of this anyway. Okay, now let's put this down. I'm going to use the gel matte medium again. I think I'm going to put it on the material. And then we'll put more on top, of course. Make sure that it stays down. There we go. It takes a lot more on material because the material soaks it up. So don't be afraid to load it up. You see how the it took the wrinkle out. See how all the colors are definitely coming together. And then we'll put more over it.
when this dries, it'll be nice and, you know, it'll still have its bright color. Right now it looks a little foggy, but that's okay. Okay. And let's see. While it's wet, I was going to add some flowers and oh, I'm making a mess. Um not that. Let's just go with the flowers. See how they I picked out ones that are white and yellow so that it kind of goes with it. I think I'm gonna put this small one up here at the top. And then this is a big one, just like it. You can put it in this corner down here. I also have butterflies I'm gonna be adding to, of course. Because what's an art journal page without butterflies? Come on. Gotta have the butterflies. I'm gonna put it at an angle, I think. So it doesn't look just like the one at the top. That's all it is, it's just a bigger version. Okay, and then let's see. Yeah. We could go like here. Yeah. I'm just soaking this page with this gel medium. I could have inked all this up too, but I decided not to. I've been kind of getting away from inking anything, actually. I'm trying to kind of get away from it because it's... I don't know. It's, I don't think it's needed on everything. Alrighty. Now let's drag out some butterflies. <laughs> I want ones that are already cut out. And I may just fill this page with butterflies. <laughs> I do love me a lot of butterflies. Always been in love with butterflies. Come on, fingers, work. There's a green one. Let's see what we've got with this bunch here. Definitely this green one's going on. But I'm going to be doing something else with these once they're dry. There's a yellow one. That's pretty. Let's put this here. Can't wait to see this all dry. It's going to be so pretty. See what else we got. There's a little yellow one. Put him up at the top. Okay. 
And we need one here, I think. Like a big one. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's put it in the opposite direction. Anything else anywhere else? Got a hole. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, please. This is a pretty one. I like that. I think we'll put him. I just want to fill it with butterflies. Down here? Yeah. Some of these are on stiffer paper than the others. They're more on a cardstock. Than they are on like copier paper. Oh, I found a teeny weeny yellow one. It's just like that one. I'm gonna put it right there. That pink in the back. So pretty. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna put some sentiments on here. If I find another butterfly, I may add it. <laughs> there is one more. Should we put it like up here? Yeah, I think so, cause it's, it'll balance the page out. Cause we got this big flower here. Medium. And we'll just place them right there like that. And it makes that flower look different too, so it doesn't look so samey samey. Okay. Now I'm going to put a sentiment in here. They're just little, little cards. It says beautiful. Adjective. To be pleasing to the senses aesthetically. And then I've got the word inspire. I'm going to put it off center, I think. No, no, I'll put it down here. That'll be perfect. And then this says, stop underestimating yourself. Crooked. There we go. There. Some of these edges down. Okay, everybody's down. Everybody looks good. Okay. Oh, I love it. That just looks awesome. Put this in water. Put the rest of these butterflies away. And then we will enhance some things. I want to do a little splattering maybe, but I'm not using black. I'm going to use gold. 
And let's see, here's my. Oh, I need a piece of. Plastic. And this is pretty watery gold paint already. Ah, can I open it? There we go. Okay. Squeeze some of that out and then add some water. There. That's what I'm saying. That looks good. Let me grab some paper towel. And let me clean up some of this. It does kind of sometimes get out of hand. I didn't have anything else to put this gold paint on, so yeah, I know you probably think she's wasting paint. Not really. Okay. And that is going to be it, I think. I mean, I'm going to wait for it to dry, and I might colorize the edges. Or should we just keep it nice and fresh and white? I think we just might leave it like this. Looks awesome. I am happy with that. So yeah, it's just a little bit of book page and just things I had on my desk and a little bit of fabric. And there you go. You can make yourself a really beautiful art journal page. And uh, yeah, I'll put a paper... Uh, picture at the end of what it looks like when it's completely dry so you can see for yourself I'm gonna take those the gold off there <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm really I'm tickled with the way it looks I love the butterflies and the flowers it looks great so yeah until my next video see you later love you bunches bye <laughs>